I'm going to show you how to change up the cornbread boilie just a little bit. I'm going to make it two different colors. Here's the ingredients for the first color which is white. That's going to represent bread. Over here we have second color which is yellow and that's going to represent the sweet yellow corn. Same portions as the regular cornbread boilie. Six slices of white wet bread, not dried. Put it through the food processor. That's going to be about six ounces weighed. We have a cup of corn flour weighed. That's four ounces. Half a cup of sweet yellow corn out of the can through the food processor. Then about three ounces weighed out. Two teaspoons white sugar. Two teaspoons corn oil. And a half a teaspoon of the white powder. You can get this off of carp sites online and uh, that's a powder form so it's going to go to the dry mix and over here we're just using the food coloring from the grocery store 25 drops to the wet mix and I'll show you how to do the white first let's go mix it up all right here's my bowl with the six slices of bread the two teaspoons of sugar the one cup of corn flour and a half a teaspoon of the powder white. Uh, put that in the food processor and got it really finely mixed up. You want that powder everywhere. All right, I'll go ahead and show you how to mix the corn next. All right, here's our white dry mix. I'm gonna go ahead and add that corn to it. This is three ounces or about a half a cup out of the can. You want to get that really finely mixed, trying to get the corn dry. Alright, go ahead and get your hands in there. You need to do this for about a minute or two until that corn is distributed everywhere in that mix. Alright, I've been mixing it a couple minutes. Everything looks pretty good on it. Now I've already mixed the two large eggs and the two teaspoons corn oil. Just going to go ahead and dump that right in. There again, pretty much just the same as the cornbread boiling video. Nothing much different here. The only difference was as I mixed the dry uh, powdered white in there. That was, that's pretty much it. Alright, here's the white mix. Not too white, just a natural bread looking white. Obviously if you wanted something more, you can add a teaspoon. But I, I like the half a teaspoon. It also saves on my dye. So I'll go ahead and put this in a bowl with a wet towel over it to keep it for a while. And I'll show you how to do the yellow. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the yellow mix. We've already added the two large eggs and two teaspoons corn oil. To that will add the 25 drops of yellow food color. Alright, let's mix that up real well. I've already done the dry mix up. It's exactly the same as a corn boily dry mix and the white dry mix. Six slices of white bread, a cup of corn flour, two teaspoons of white sugar, and three ounces of the corn. I'll go ahead and mix them together. Same way. So basically, the only thing I'm doing is showing you how to add the dye to this one. I'm going to get all that good stuff out of there. All 
All right, here's our yellow dough. Pretty much the color I'm looking for. You can see those little flakes of corn sticking out everywhere. All right, now I'll show you how to combine this with the white. All right, here I have my white dough. I'm going to roll it out the same size as my sausage stuffer. Mash it up in there. Even though I kind of get that end in there, I still need to make it the same size. All right. That's pretty much the same size as it. I'm going to take a bread knife, cut it right down through the center on the cutting board. I'm going to cut it again. Alright, we'll get the yellow out and do the same with the yellow. Alright, I've already quartered my yellow and white. Now what I want to do is put them together. So I'll take one quarter of the white, one quarter of the yellow, another yellow, and then the final white. So you're basically just making one big sausage combining the two colors. Alright. Go ahead and put those underneath the wet towel and get the rolling table out. Alright, today I'm using my 18 mil rolling table with a 16 mil head. I've got my sausage tube fully stuffed. I'll show you how much this particular one will hold. Just let the sausage drop naturally. Well, I got three full runs of it. That was a stuffed tube right there. Usually don't get that much. Alright, let's cut them off at the very end. I don't like them sticking over that last run. Get them parallel. Since I have four, I gotta get them fairly close together, unfortunately. I could take that little one off, and do it by itself, but I'm a gambler. Let's try it. Put the wax paper underneath the table. Got my little gadget here, wedged up against the, the towel on the wall. Ooh, barely big enough to fit over it all. Bring it down, start small wedges. Get them all moving 
you feel them all moving pretty well go ahead and smash it on down and start rolling it chaos we have. Uh, not too bad. Yeah, small dumbbell there, which is okay. Dumbbell there. Look pretty good for the most part though. Alright, let's roll those down onto my wax paper. fill my sausage tube back up and we'll get the rest all right this is all of our boilies rolled up it's pretty much a 12 bread mix I'll go ahead and show you how to boil it up next all right I have my boiling water and I've separated the boilies into two go ahead and do two batches set the timer for two and a half minutes make sure they're not stuck to the bottom I'll turn it back up on high and let it come back up to a boil real quick all right there's my second batch boiling away here's the first batch it's sitting there for about two minutes I'm gonna shake it around make sure the balls don't get stuck together and then I'm going to put them on my trays. I happen to have some dehydrating trays. Alright. My next batch is pretty much done. So I'll take it over to the sink. Let that sit for about two minutes and then I'll put it on the other tray and uh, put them outside for about two hours. Let them air dry and then I'll show you the final product. Alright, this side over here is my final result. It was 2.1 pounds. Uh, this is a quart bag. So I filled a quart bag and had a little bit left. That's a 12 bread mix. Um, this is another batch I had done earlier. You'll see how much whiter it is. That's with one teaspoon of the white powder, or this one we did a half a teaspoon. That's typically what I would do. I mean, if I was selling this stuff, I would definitely put a teaspoon of the powder in, or if you wanted to impress your friends, that's what to do. Um, you know, if you don't have the white powder, what you can do to get a whiter look it's just to cut the hill off of the bread for the white side just put the plain white center of the bread in only and you'll get probably close to this look even without the powder um, but the white definitely does pop it makes the yellow pop even more so it's a good finished product uh, this is just a dough ball just a piece of bread smashed up and I've actually let it soak for about 10 minutes in the water and you can kind of see the comparison so really this one doesn't come too far off of what your bait hook would look like if you just put some bread on your hook so it's up to you what you really want to do but anyway that's the final product there again it's just a weekend boily if you're going out on Saturday you know make them up Friday put them in the freezer overnight or refrigerator and they'll last all weekend, no problem. Alright, I hope you have good luck with it.